Hello, and welcome to another video on Microsoft Dynamics 365 as we follow a sales quote through to invoicing, including the purchase cycle for the ordered product. This time we'll be looking at the D365 Sales Hub in Part 1 and then move into Business Central for the second video. My name is John Hoyt, Solutions Architect here at TMC. In D365 Sales Hub, you can identify and track your sales opportunities from first contact through a confirmed sales order. Let's get started. From the dashboard, I'm going to navigate down to the contacts. Keep in mind, in Sales Hub, we take our customers and split them into the accounts, the actual companies and entities that we work with, and the people, the contacts. We keep that relationship separate so that a contact can move from one account to another over time. In this example, we get a phone call from our contact Alex Baker at Trey Research. Alex is calling to let us know that they finally agreed to move forward on that office remodel project, and I want to record that as a new opportunity for us. The topic, of course, is an office remodel. And Alex lets me know that this is for office number one. They have multiple locations. They've budgeted $1,500 for new chairs. And because there's no real decisions left, they're going to move quickly. So we can set the opportunity close date just a couple days out in the future. Customer needs new chairs. That takes me back to the contact page with Alex, and they're still on the phone. Alex says the only real thing they need left from us is going to be a quote for the purchase. I'll pop that opportunity open again, navigate to the product line items, I'll select the price list, and then we'll add in a new product. Now they're going to need eight chairs in total, so we'll indicate that quantity and we'll save and close our opportunity. Navigate to the quote tab and we can now produce a new quote for those. So we have eight of the Munich chairs at a total of a $1,520, right about their budgeted dollar amount. At this point, all I need to do is activate that quote. And because they're waiting for that document, I can simply create that sales order now. We'll close that opportunity as one. We will then create that sales order. And with the integration between Sales Hub and Business Central, we've now transmitted that sales order over to the Business Central system, ready to be fulfilled. So again, we've looked at the accounts and contacts, the opportunities, and the quote to order phase inside Sales Hub. D365 Sales tracks both your contacts and your accounts, the people and the organizations that you work with. Opportunities are used to track the potential business activities with your accounts. D365 Sales can formalize your opportunities then into sales quotes. Once you've agreed with your account on the sales quote, the quote is activated. Once your account has accepted the sales quote, it can be converted into a sales order, which then gets submitted to D365 Business Central for fulfillment. So again, in D365 Sales, we identified an opportunity, negotiated the sales quote, 
and finalize the sales order. Now we'll follow the sales order through fulfillment in Business Central. That's in part two of the video. Thanks for watching.